you i want to be like you oh hey movie maniacs yes i finally got around to seeing jungle book after recovering from the world's largest trivia contest and let me tell you Disney has once again hit pay dirt, I think, with their live action adaptation of their animated classics. Here we get the, the story again of Mowgli, that classic familiar story of the man cub raised by a pack of wolves in the jungle, but soon he's growing a little bit too uh, old and they realize that they're going to need to get him back to the man village, especially after the tiger Shere Khan has shown interest in killing Mowgli. So Bagheera takes Mowgli uh, through the jungle to uh, the man village, although Mowgli's going reluctantly. Along the way, he befriends a big old bear named Baloo, and they meet a cast of characters, including a gigantic snake named Ra, and a even larger uh, king of uh, the ancient ruins, uh, King Louis. Wow, folks, John Favreau uh, it really took Cameron and Zack Snyder and all of them to school for a special effects film. Okay, now they say live action, most of this is CG. I don't care. Within the first five minutes of this film, I bought into the talking animals. I bought into the jungle. I bought into this world. The way he directed it and the way he brings you into this jungle and sucks you in and uh, just makes it acceptable that these animals are talking uh, partly is because of the fantastic special effects and CGI in here, and just part of his uh, really uh, care in the direction. You can tell he took a lot of love and care for the original, and he worked that heart into this film and really made this feel like a true respectable live action version of that classic film. Now, Baloo being voiced by Bill Murray was fantastic. Bill Murray was not trying to be the uh, Baloo from the film. He's trying to be his own Baloo, and he does it so well. I loved him, even though he's just mostly doing voice acting. I think they might have did mocap for him. Uh, I loved the Baloo character. Such a lo lovable, charismatic character. So much fun. And Bagheera, voiced by Ben Kingsley, Man, I loved the Bagheera character. I loved it in the original. The original Jungle Book was such, uh, you know, close to my heart, and I kind of went into this going, ah! But man, when I saw what they did with this film, it was amazing. Uh, you got, I believe it's Scarlett Johansson does the voice for Ra. Oh, wow! The way they handled that segment, and Christopher Walken as King Louie. You wouldn't think it works, but it does, because they put a little different spin on his character, giving it a little bit more Godfather, uh, uh, old school Italian gangster style. Louis, and they even explained my son, who uh, is a way smarter than I am, even explained what type of uh, ape he was, and that it was an actual prehistoric ape, the largest ape in the world, and that's what they made King Louis. And so, even that made sense. They did their research, which uh, put it above uh, a little bit in my son's category that they actually did their research on that. Uh, everything, uh, Idris Elba doing the voice of Shere Khan. Oh my lord, they made. Shere Shere Khan, such a fantastically, a fantastic villain, just as good as in the first one. Folks, this is another classic. It is another spot-on recreation of that animated classic, yet John's also giving it his own flair and giving it, not afraid to shy away from the dark art areas of this story either. I mean, there are some uh, kind of brutal moments in here, so those of really young age, when I went to see it in the theater, uh, they kind of got a bit upset. So you may want to uh, gauge a little bit, not really for the young, young folks out there. I would say maybe 10 or 11 and up uh, because it does go to some dark places. But the only thing that I found kind of weak in here, and I understand why they went with him because he looked just like, you know, the fitting the part was the, uh, the actor they picked for Mowgli. Uh, I... I just didn't quite feel his Mowgli, and that's because he's he's newer to the you know acting, and for him he's pretty much the only human uh, character on film. For him to carry a film like this, he did a very good job, but I just didn't quite feel the Mowgli character. But it did not take away from my enjoyment of this uh, reimagining live action version of the classic animated film, which is also based on the book. I understand. I I just don't read much, but. Uh, 
uh, I also understand it is based on the book. So, go see Jungle Book is my point. I give it four and a half stubs. Not quite five, just because I wasn't quite feeling the Mowgli character. But other than that, everything else about this, they make you buy into the fact they found some talking animals for this film. Special effects, I didn't really slip at all. And if nothing else, it's worth it because they even do work in two of those famous musical songs in there. Uh, uh, Bare Necessities and I Want to Be Like You sung with Christopher Walken. I was smiling from ear to ear, folks. It's worth it for that alone for the price of admission. You will be wowed. You will be amazed. It is definitely another hit on their hands here for Disney. And that'll about do it for us here on The Final Cut. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers trying to hit that magic 1K by July. Our 10th anniversary can only do it with your support. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep that ticket stub.